that is not some, something like the single solution with the big S. And I think uh, the Europe is today on the crossroad and uh, the crossroad leads us to the good future with the prosperity or to the troubles depending on if we will be able to identify the sources of our troubles. So and my concern is that we are moving from the stage when we were able successfully to accumulate wealth and to the situation when everybody and especially politicians are obsessed with the redistribution of the wealth. But before you start redistributing something, you need to first to, to create it. And I think the future of Europe depends very much on the ability to come back to old concepts, liberal concepts, that were at the very foundation of our, of our success. And I think this, if I would be able to summarize it in one sentence, the recipe, liberal recipe for the success is the limited government and free market economy. For the time being, I must say that we, as the liberals, we lost this, uh, this fight over the support of the general public when it comes to the crucial political concepts uh, of, uh, of liberalism. And that's, if we will not be able to get this support back, then uh, uh, the all other efforts will do, be doomed to, to fail. You know, it's not a technocratic uh, matter or the question. You cannot change the policies like this. You, in order to change policies, you need to change politicians. In order to change politicians, you need to change the public perception what is good or bad. So we need to start uh, the almost uh, from the scratch again, unfortunately. The most crucial concept that was sort of defeating our idea of the minimum state with the minimum government interventions and with the economy based on the free market principles, the minimum competing concept was the welfare state. And the welfare state, the big state that is taking care of its citizens from the cradle to the grave and it worked in some societies for a limited period of time like in Sweden. It failed terribly when it was implemented uh, in uh, countries of Central and Eastern Europe in uh, the uh, from 45 to 1990. There are clear limits. You cannot continue with that. It's not sustainable. It is not the government in a position to take care of every single aspect of your life. It's going to economic and social hell. As you know, the concept of the welfare state is generating the big debts. So our generation is irresponsibly uh, moving this funding of that debt to our kids or the grandkids. And uh, it is going to financially explode. Today you need to work with the emotions and what liberals are good at is to win the rational argument. So I can defeat any socialist on a, you know, economic ground, but they will defeat us when they will be appealing to the hearts and emotions of the people. So in one sentence again, Liberals need to learn how to appeal not only to the brains, but to the hearts of the people.